Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing my review for Arrow Season 8, Episode 2. If you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Arrow videos later this year. So, as you probably have noticed by now, I'm doing Arrow reviews until the very end of the season, but they will every time. They will come out the day after, because the Flash and Arrow are on the same night. I'll see it the day before. But the video will come out the day after. It's just simply not possible for me to work it into the schedule. So that's why it's coming out the next day. But I'm committed to making Arrow videos this season. So please be sure to share around the channel. And let everyone who loves Arrow. You know, your friends or people online. Let them know Ben is doing Arrow videos. Okay, so we're going to break down this episode. Review it and talk about it. But also, I'm going to be adding in a few extra stuff to do with, there's just one bit to do with Crisis, and there's one bit to do with the Arrow spin-off, the Green Arrow and the Canaries, which we'll talk about just in a minute, but after the review. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. So, how we start off the episode, we've got a new intro, new Oliver speaking over the top, so he's narrating in a different way. The intro is a bit different, and you have a montage of Oliver's past, and he's lying on the bed and it sort of all flashes before him and then suddenly like you don't know where he is like the color grading's different you're like hmm where did he go when he escaped Earth 2 last episode but it turns out the monitor returns and he actually has placed him here for his next mission and he reveals Earth 2 has been erased Oliver is sort of freaking out over this he's still confused as to why Earth 2 was destroyed like that and Oliver's told he has done wrong because he's actually, you know, helped Laurel actually escape. And, you know, that was the thing that he wasn't supposed to do. He also wasn't supposed to interfere with stuff on Earth 2. He was supposed to just get what he came for. And right now we don't actually know what he's, you know, trying to do with all those pieces that he needs. But we are supposing, and we talked about this on Eric's live stream the other day with Paigey. You can check that out on Eric's channel right now. We talked about the fact that maybe he is collecting this stuff to do like a opposite of the antimatter cannon because if you read the comics you know the antimatter cannon is something that the anti-monitor has but maybe the monitor's trying to get like a reversal thing with all these devices and bits and pieces he needs from oliver because that hasn't been explained yet and so the survival of the multiverse requires him following the monitor's orders and in this episode oliver begins to question how you know real the monitor is and how real his threats are obviously he believes like the stakes but he doesn't believe that maybe he is fully good right so by the end of the episode he's going to go to nanda parbat we know this episode we're going to get the return of thea queen which is going to be really awesome that's next episode and we're going to see the league again so with that being said that means that he is questioning the monitor, so I reckon he's going to find out more about the monitor, more about his plans. So we're going to get more details as to why he's trying to stop Crisis, really. And so let's move back and talk about the episode. So Oliver, he's on Earth 1 again, and he's trying to complete his next task. And this first scene after, Steven kills it, man. Like, this whole episode, Steven's killing it. He always kills it, but specifically, I wrote down in my notes, Steven and Mel killing it. He's doing so much great work in this episode. And so his emotions are so pure and so real. Whenever he breaks down, you really feel it, which is really great. And so it's revealed they are actually in Hong Kong. And last time we were in Hong Kong, it was a few seasons ago. We had the flashbacks there. Oliver was there for part of his five years on the island, supposedly. And so we get the return of Katana, which was amazing. I love seeing her return. Because, you know, we haven't seen her in a long while and it was just very nostalgic. Also, we get China White returning. Very nostalgic. I had no idea she was popping up in this episode. She jumps down, turns around, and I was like, oh my god, what the hell? She is back. And I sort of was like, I was just kind of wowed by it, which was really good. And so, the fight scenes in this episode, man, I tweeted about this when I was watching it. They are so good. Like, they get better and better. I was super impressed. I think a thing that some of the other shows could do with is some of the action that Arrow has. Like the Flash, I think the Flash is fine for the fight scenes. But like Supergirl and Batwoman, I think they need to sort of take a leap from like a 
take a piece more like from Arrow's playbook because they really know how to do fight scenes and it's really good. Okay, so he teases to Katana a crisis is coming and it turns out Katana knows Mano Vu, which is really crazy. I was just like, ha, huh? she knows who the monitor is. So obviously he's made the rounds, he's, you know, been around and everything like that. So yeah, that's very interesting. And so also in this episode, a big part is Laurel and you know, her getting over the fact that her earth has been destroyed. And we have this part of the episode with Lila. So Lila returns. Lila is really great in this episode as per usual, but she has a nice twist. A really cool twist that gave me chills. We'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, so Laurel and Lila team up to go to this guy, this sort of tech guy, the scientist guy. And he reveals that Earth 2 is like a shadow. There is no sign of life there. Earth 2 is gone and Laurel is broken. Casey Cassidy kills it in this scene. If you watch Eric's live stream, you could see Paige and everyone will like raving about how good this bit was and you know how good Laurel was in this episode as well. So really great stuff from Casey, really great stuff from Laurel. And talking about Lila, the big thing, the big cliffhanger is that the monitor steps out and it turns out he's working with Lila. That bit sent chills up my spine. I was like, Harbinger, what? Is she actually Harbinger already? Or, like, why is she working with the Monitor? Like, the Monitor's working with Oliver. And I was just so shocked and so surprised. And my comic book side of me, because in the comics, Lila plays Harbinger, and we know she's playing Harbinger in the crossover. My comic book side of me was like, what the hell? I'm getting chills right now. So that was really, really great. I love that reveal. And so, you know... The question is, is she Harbinger already or not? And Lila actually took this Dr. Wong that they were with this episode for the monitor. So that's part of the plan as well. Oliver didn't even have to do that. Lila is working as well with the monitor. So I'm very curious to see since when has she been working with the monitor? And so continuing on to the episode, we get loads more fight scenes. There's probably about four to five fight scenes and they're all brilliant. They're rather brutal, fast action really really great stuff katana does this wire work piece where she jumps down and i was like hell yeah this is cool all right so i love the fight scenes as i said you know really really great stuff we had some felicity flashbacks in this episode i was like oh jesus that is a bit tough but you know it was great i love seeing those flashbacks as well katana nearly dies laurel saves her shows her heroic side she does get stabbed though so she's going to be out of action for a little bit so i'm not sure if we'll see katana again but you know she was really good in this episode and so we had all the future stuff the future stuff this week wasn't as interesting like i've said in last week's review i really like mia and if you watch the live stream with eric and Paige the other day the title of the video is the dc tv show versus Paige or Paige versus the dc tv show because we have this bit where he goes totally off of me about Mia, about me liking Mia. So great stuff. Go watch that. That's on the Eric's channel. You got to watch that. That was so much fun. But anyway, so I really like Mia, but Mia didn't have much to do this episode. It's more about JJ and Connor. And to be honest, it wasn't too interesting because it was just them talking mainly. And yeah, so I wasn't so impressed by the future scenes, but this episode, man, what an episode. I freaking loved it, it's so good. So let's move on to talk about some other stuff that I teased in this video. So first things first, let's talk about this. So the Arrow star who plays Connor Hawk on The CW, who is Joseph David Jones, he in fact has been talking, he's been doing some interviews, and so he teased his potential involvement in the Arrow spin-off show, The Canaries. So I was kind of confused by this because I thought that it's not going to be him, I thought that maybe it's just going to be Mia coming back. I still think it's not very likely that he will show up, maybe he does a guest appearance or so. But yeah, so he teased if he's not actually in the Canaries TV show, he would like to be in Legends. So that's a thing to note down, maybe he might be showing up on Legends sometime soon. Also talking about Crisis, we just got some behind the scenes photos of you know one of the last few days because they are wrapping up crisis and so i thought i would put in some of them Mascara bounces photos so you guys can see they're having so much fun last few days of the crossover 
you've got Kyla, you've got Nicole, you've got Katie, you've got Ruby as well. They're all having a great time on the set. And in classic fashion, you have to see these photos of Melissa and Grant. They are the cutest people on Earth. They're having so much fun. Like, what is Melissa doing? What is Grant doing? It's so much fun. I just thought I would share that with you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any DC TV videos. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.